What's up guys? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Today, we are continuing on with our Valheim official hardcore mode playthrough with our star viking, Duck Norse. <laughs> Epically named by chat. Thanks for the sub on YouTube. Tube on Charlie, I appreciate it. I hope you're doing good, bud. So, this is officially episode two, so welcome. What's up? Uh, Marketo, thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, bud. So far, we are basically just getting ourselves established. Um, we built this nice little base. And uh, we're starting get set up um farming some ball you let me just launch something real quick this lets me use my mouse buttons um yes we've got some boars who look like they're being tamed i think they might need more raspberries actually we could do to get a load more raspberries. Um, got some honey on the way. We'll get another one set up. And so, yeah. So, just to briefly explain to anyone that doesn't know. Uh, there's currently an update uh, for Valheim. That is going to be coming live servers uh, pretty soon there's still a few bugs iron gate are working to uh iron out for us well right now you can actually play the new update on the public test branch and that's what we're playing on right now so this is sort of the test slash sort of beta version of it for now let's give these other raspberries to the boars what's up captain fossil thanks for talking about the stream i hope you're doing good and so anyway in this update there's lots of new things i'm sure you guys have heard all about it but one particular thing that i think actually might be a big deal than the new npc is the new world modifiers. So what these new world modifiers actually allow you to do is customize various things about your game. Um, including difficulty level uh, and various other things, right? And one of the things that Iron Gate has actually done. Let's actually just go out on a run to start hunting and gathering whilst we talk. One of the things that Iron Gate has provided as part of the new world modifiers are actually official Iron Gate made presets, which effectively uh, creates new modes. And one of the new modes is Hardcore. One of the new presets is called Hardcore, which effectively adds an official Hardcore mode to the game. And uh, if you want some info and want, you want a reminder as to what this actually does, there is a command that we created yesterday. For the chat, you can do exclamation hardcore in the chat for a reminder of what that actually does. But I'll briefly go over it at the start of today's session. So, the first thing it does is it increases the difficulty. And what it does is 
it puts the enemy outgoing damage to 200%. So it doubles the amount of damage they currently do. And it also, in the difficulty slider, not just increases the damage that enemies do, but it nerfs player damage by 30%. So we do 70% damage. Enemies do 200%. Um, and enemy speed is also buffed by 20%. One of the other things it does is it makes it so that if you die, it actually will delete your entire character's inventory and also delete all of your skills. So it's not permadeath, but the death penalty is still very harsh. And combined with all the other stuff, I think there's a pretty serious argument that this is tougher than just permadeath because it also prevents you from using a map. We have no map. It's an official no map mode as well. I'm pressing M right now, nothing happens. There's no mini map even. And it also increases the amount of raids that we get. So that's a brief overview what it does. It basically just makes the game a lot harder. Again, if you want a reminder of what the hardcore mode does, you can do exclamation hardcore in the chat. What's up, Mac Mac? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, bud. Guys, I actually sat down to start this stream hours ago. And I, I was like, oh, yes, I'm going to start the stream so much earlier today gonna get more time in the hardcore playthrough and then it just had like tons of emails and i was uh setting up some stuff for some different youtube channels i'm setting up and stuff I was exporting a video and everything just took way longer than i wanted it to <laughs> so but we're, we're here Oh, that's awesome, Andreas. I'm really happy to hear that. Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, bud. Happy to help. So we're really going to make sure we don't get lost. Thanks, Drew. We haven't ventured out very far. so far I think what we should do we've been walking along this coastline a lot and we can still do that until it leads us somewhere dangerous so I think that's what we're actually going to do it's going to keep this ghost island on our left so we don't get lost but then I think we should start just using the hoe to create paths as we explore So we can uh, make sure we don't get lost that way and we can explore somewhere else other than the coast. I really want to get feathers right now. What's up, JC? Next up on the stream. I hope you're doing good, bud. Anyone know when Hilda's request will be out? Um, No one really knows. Iron Gate are just about to get back from the holidays. And uh, they've still got some bugs to fix. That is the next thing on their list from what I hear. I think at this point, it would be nice to hear from Iron Gate specifically about it. I'm hoping sometimes someone from Iron Gate shows up in the chat so I can answer that question properly, but that is my understanding. So no specific date, but soon. It's supposed to get into be nighttime already. You're welcome. I mean, I'm just 
wondering whether... You know, because we're not really... Concerned. Uh, well, we're trying not to die, right? Because we'll lose everything if we do. Therefore... There's not really a point in me going home right now. Just to go to bed, right? We might as well just place a bed and sleep in it. Oh, we don't have rocks. So we can do something about that. Uh, Base-wise, we basically just built like a little house so far. But I'm exploring right now and it's going dark and instead of going all the way back home, I'm just going to sleep rough in the wild. They do have some work days in their holiday year. Oh. <laughs> Like, because the thing is that like, if we die, everything gets deleted in our inventory and our skills get reset. And my base is right near spawn anyway. If we die without a bed down. It's not going to make a difference. Hello, Nick. Hope you're doing well. This run reminds me of that one post someone made on Steam for no map, no portals. Runs a while ago. And this, this little heart icon keeps blocking messages in the chat for me. It's kind of annoying. Do you think making your own paper map of some sort would help? Definitely, yeah. I'm just getting the occasional sapling as we go. Because they have a high resin drop rate. I want to make a lot of fire arrows soon. I'm hoping that we get to fight Eek Deer today. We can use portals in hardcore. Um... However, you can't use them if there's a boss nearby. One of the craziest details about this mode as well, which is kind of a sneaky one. Like a stealth one that's easy to overlook. Is uh, you can't leave the queen's dungeon while she's alive. So the only way to leave it is to either kill her or you die, right? Which... The reason that... Uh, that basically creates a scenario where you have to... If you don't beat the, the queen first try... Oh my god, this isn't going well. If you don't beat the queen first try... All of the items that you take with you in preparation, you'll have to collect them all again. So just like, imagine you gear up massively, you make like a staff and stuff and some really good armor for the final boss. Tons of arrows and bombs and stuff. You have no option to go out and refill. Any plans for the next Tears of the Kingdom stream? Yeah, I'll do it tonight after this stream. I'm not sure what time or how long it will end up being. But I'll definitely play some Zelda live on Twitch. After today's stream. And I did also set up the Let's Plays channel. Uh, and the VOD from yesterday's Zelda stream is uh, uploading as we speak. It should be live after the stream tonight. So if people want to catch up on the Zelda gameplay that we've been doing on Twitch, you can watch it now. 
on YouTube. If you do exclamation Let's Play, you get a link to my new Let's Play channel that I've created. Uh, for now, uh, is is going to uh, just contain the VODs of the Zelda streams. But in the future, I'll be uploading more Let's Play content. No timer. We're just doing a hardcore mode playthrough right now. And the new hardcore mode added with the uh, Hilda's Request update. So yeah, if you want to check out the new channel called Nick Rawcliffe Plays, you get a link to it by doing exclamation Let's Play in the chat. And I think there is a link in the description as well. Literally just created it before today's stream. Right, you see your question, what does the cartography do? <laughs> yeah, in this run, I would assume it does nothing. <laughs> in general, the cartography table, when you play vanilla, is a multiplayer item, essentially. What it does is players can walk up to it <clears throat> and record all of their map data onto it. Oh, hell yeah. And, uh, I'm not going to cut this one down, actually, because I don't want to fill my inventory with wood just yet. <clears throat> so, um... I love this music, by the way, the discovery music. These little spots. Wait, what, what was I just saying, explaining? Yeah, the cartography table. So, in vanilla, it's kind of a multiplayer item. When you, when you walk up to it, you record all of your map data on the, the car, cartography table and then any other players can walk up to it and when they interact with it it'll copy all of the map data from your map onto their map and this works with every player on any server even it's a way for people that play on servers or just multiplayer general to share map data there is a huge mountain over there. Definitely didn't just press M to mark it on the map. <laughs> but that looks tasty. Definite good possibility of modder being there. So we need to make a note of that. Um, so I'm kind of just exploring right now whilst uh, collecting hides and leather and feathers, ideally. I want to explore to see what we have nearby as much as possible without going into a biome that would be too dangerous for us right now. Yeah, the cartography table is actually a great feature. What's up, Wesker? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good. Have I died yet? No, nope, not yet. This is the furthest we've ventured out so far. I do want to fight Ekthia today. Oh, there's a bird there. Keep an eye on that. Oh, we're out of arrows. Um would also be nice to start looting oh this is a one star maybe we bring this guy back to base 
it's a good idea actually. Let's, let's kite him back to base. Yeah, it'd be nice to start exploring burial chambers for the loot as well. Is there anything at your base you need to go back for? Got a lot of mats. Just getting stocked up there at the minute. Due to Valheim, do you recommend knives? As they go as a go to weapon for basic kills. Um there's absolutely nothing wrong with knives as a go to basic weapon, yeah. They're really good. They're actually super underrated. Especially if you're going to be sneaking up on stuff. Because of the secondary attack is really good. It makes you pounce. Oh, I'm not going to get equipped actually. It makes you pounce like this so you can sneak up and jump on stuff. Solid choice. Yeah. For sure. It really depends though. If you're wanting to stick to one weapon type only. You know, you're, you're probably better sticking to... Clubs. Um, axes or swords. The knives are really cool and really effective, but it's not the, the only real reason. Uh, I say what I say with the other weapon types is just. I don't know, I guess sort of more useful in more scenarios, maybe. Spears are also really good. Knives and spears are amazing and underrated. No question. Yeah, I mean, if you're new to the game, any weapon is viable. That is a good point. It, I would, I would, I do just recommend like whatever you think is fun, you really want to use. Let's go with it. You, you can't really go wrong with a weapon type. And obviously, you want to stick with that weapon type, you know. As long as you're upgrading as you progress to the new equivalent. The one really good thing about that. Oh, don't kill him. I I'm now just. The mission has now changed to kite this one store back to tame. White Shrew likes my videos. It's an honor. By the way, your videos are great. Watches, keep it up. Thank you for your response. Greatly appreciated. Keep up the great work. Oh, thanks, bud. I appreciate that. Very welcome. Glad you enjoy the content. It means a lot. Thank you. What's up, Chris? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing good, bud. Night versus more massive stuff. Yeah, that, that's the thing is that for the most meta boss fights. You don't, you don't really want to stick with any one weapon type, but clubs are probably the more effective one to stick with for the whole game if you have to stick to one, but there's no reason to stick to one because bone mass is weak to clubs and one of the best weapons in the game is the Frosner, which is also technically a club and the Frosner is still late game gear, you know what I mean? 
can use it for the entire game once you get it. Fully upgraded, it still still slaps and the miss lands. So I would say clubs are the most sort of min maxi way to go. But like in terms of just having fun, I don't even really recommend sticking with one weapon type. I actually recommend trying them all. Especially um, all the late game weapons. Got Frosner yet? Easy, bro. I just YOLO'd through the abyss of no map. Straight to a trader. What's up, BJ? Thanks for talking about the stream. I hope you're doing good. So the official hardcore mode that they that they have added. Um, there's actually a lot more to it. There we go. BJ is doing that command. Good job, dude. That command actually does uh, explain it for anyone that's curious. But yeah, just to just to briefly explain it, uh, it deletes your character inventory and your skills. But it but it also does a bunch of other stuff. Enemies do 200% damage. Your damage is nerfed by 30%. Enemies speeds increase by 20%. There's no map. There's no mini map. There's more raids. You can't use portals near a boss. You can't leave the queen dungeon unless she's dead. Um, yeah, so it, it does a bunch of stuff. I guess we'll uh, leave it like this for now. Just whilst this guy chills out a bit. At least the map. Yeah, I mean, kind of, kind of does sort of literally do that okay so the main thing i want to be doing right now is actually upgrading some stuff and making fire arrows um cause oh, so i would like to week there pretty soon so we we got our workstation up to level three so i'm just upgrading some stuff We will at some point actually create a storage facility that is organized. But I think it's early enough that it's fine right now. We're going to end up spending like an entire day. Organizing at some point. Wait, what was that? Oh, it was just that. Okay, so we've got level 3 knife, level 3 club, level 3 axe, level 3 spear. Can't level this up without bones. Weapon wise, we're pretty good. Right, let's do a sleep. Um, we might as well. 
increase our uh, comfort as well. Zelda's awesome so far. I'm loving it. I'm going to be playing more tonight on Twitch after the stream. And uh, the uh, last night stream is currently uploading to YouTube as well on the new channel. Officially created a new channel where I'm going to be posting Let's Plays. We're going to start out by just putting the VODs. Uh, of the Zelda playthrough streams on there, but I'm going to be posting some other Let's Play content in the future as well. You get a link to that by doing exclamation Let's Play in the chat. Um, we might as well get some some light in here. It's not a super pretty base right now, but it's fine. We'll make something nice at some point. So, uh, let's do a little more cooking. Oh, let's get that other queen place as well. I can just kill eat there with campfires, yeah. I'm not really committing to uh, not doing any speedrun strats or any cheeses or anything. I'm not, I haven't decided yet. But I'm at least probably going to start out by not doing cheeses and stuff. Get our leather armor on the go. That's really the next thing. Honestly, like, we might as well do Eek Deer pretty soon. Ah, oh, we need bones to upgrade this as well. Uh. How are my skills advancing? Well, our run skills getting up there, and our wood cutting skills getting up there, our axe skills getting up there. So, not bad, I would say, considering kind of still just getting started. Goddamn storm. What's up, Thomas? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it still works, Thomas. The thing is, it's, it's the movement speed increase, I think, that was making it trickier to do that. But Eek stays still if you get the strat right. It should be fine. But thanks so much for the stream, dude. I hope you're doing good. Stinking like. I don't think there's much more we can do armor-wise uh, without getting bones. I think we also maybe just go for all HP. At this point, and I think I am just gonna do eat beer. Kind of got a lot of stuff here.
Yeah, the, the movement speed is definitely easy to underestimate as being a problem. This, as you guys probably know, if you played a lot of Valheim, um, there's certain mobs that have pretty frustrating movement patterns where they go around in circles randomly like grade walls or fuelings um, it definitely be um Uh, a little trickier with the uh, the speed buff of the enemies, particularly for those enemy types. I think it could be a good idea. Maybe take a lot of torches because. If we just end up, I don't really know what our damage is really going to be like. It's uh, probably going to be fine because peak there is pretty, pretty easy boss usually. But the thing is, with our damage nerf. If it ends up being like super bad, um, they, you know, they, they've not nerfed the, the damage of fire. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to take wood. So we can take a fire and build a shelter to get our rested buff. Um, to re-get it whilst we're at the site. Shields are worth using for sure, but not really sure if the wood shield on each there is really worth it. I'm thinking about skipping that. Could probably make one anyway, though. Where are we currently at, leather wise? Have we used all the leather? I think I'm just going to wait until we get a bone shield. It's kind of whatever. I'm waiting. Oh, we don't even need to wait. Let's just try it. We're pretty stacked, chat. For an ink deer fight. 160 arrows. Level 3 weapons and bow. 165 arrows. Leather armor. Be fine. Probably gonna try and get a sneak attack when he spawns in with the spear. Now nah, we're going to wait until we can sleep, and we're going to actually sleep at the boss location. I'm not going to use my weapons too much in case durability is an issue. And we're going to sleep slash rest. 
at the boss location so we get the longest day cycle possible for the boss fight. How difficult is that mode versus a normal hardcore run? It's definitely a lot harder than a, a normal hardcore run in terms of just doing it deathless. It's definitely a lot harder than just deathless because the number one thing is the is the fact that you can use a map when you're doing deathless. And the number two thing is going to be the fact that 200% damage increase for uh, for enemies is going to be a, a huge deal compared to just playing the game on normal but not dying so there's quite a bit more to it Perfect. I prefer shields that can parry as well, but there's some tower shields that are worth making at certain points. For sure. Um... Wait, actually, can't you actually puke like vanilla now? No, you can't. Oh, you have to use the puke berries, don't you? Oh, it's not the best health situation. But YOLO. So he went for stealth attack with the uh, spear, which actually did quite a bit of damage. But holy shit, these arrows are still doing a lot of damage. Now we're level three. Whoa. <laughs> He's so lost right now, bro. I'm just waiting in case he attacks so I can get a good dodge roll in. Alright. So far so good. Where are you going? Oh my god. That was a tricky one. Is that enough DPS to kill it? Gonna be one HP? Yeah, we did it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not forcing myself. Oh, this music. There's like some cute, cool music sound I never heard when we just killed Ikdir there. No hit. He didn't even hit us once. 
<laughs> is this now a no hit run? I'm definitely not doing no hit run right now. <laughs> nah, we didn't take any damage. Um, I'm not forcing myself. Like this campfire, the campfire kill is not banned from this run. Which it's this is not a run with like made up rule sets. Um, we're just playing the actual official hardcore mode in the new update. But I would like to at least try and do all the bosses without cheesing it or using the speedrun strats. Nobody can hit Chuck Norris. True. Oh, uh, you know what's going to be so good about this chat? Getting the Eek Fear buff. Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to um, ref at least go into boss fights to just do things normally as opposed to use all the speedrun strats. Um, but I might use some speedrun strats still later. I don't know. It depends how it goes, I guess. Oh, it is 100% on the way. Boy, it's on the test server right now. We're playing on the test build. Um, and there's an official hardcore world preset in the, uh, in the test version. So that's what we're actually playing right now. Still got so many arrows left, by the way. I honestly don't think it's even really worth us farming a load of feathers right now. We end up starting exploring Black Forest soon, which not not really anything else that we need to do in the meadows at the minute, I don't think. So we might as well. Then we're going to start finding feathers in chests anyway. And we have 135, so. How should I get my friends back to Valheim? Back into Valheim. Um. Maybe show them some videos about all the new content. The, I mean, if they haven't even seen the Mistlands update, I would definitely recommend them watching some videos about everything that was added then, and then everything in this new update. Because I think if you come, the Mistlands update was so nuts. If someone missed out on that, they're really missing out. If they quit after Mistlands, um, maybe show them Hilda's request. You recently came back for Miss Lance. Nice. Yeah, the fact... If, if anyone stopped playing the game before Miss Lance, the Miss Lance update is so big and the Hilda's request update is not as big, but it is but it is really good and it adds some genuinely interesting things. Combine the two things together. I mean, the Hilda's request is... Almost insignificant compared to Mistlands, but still, it's really good. Some really good stuff still. Uh, maybe I do want this water. My friend quickly thought Mistlands are so annoying to explore. Yeah. I understand that. I, I I still think Miss Lands is like an absolutely amazing update. But that is totally on Iron Gate anyone they lose because of that. Because obviously it can be frustrating to explore. And obviously for some players that's going to be enough for them to 
not want to play it. I feel like that. Yeah. I mean, it's not it's not like a criticism, but that is that is on them, isn't it? <laughs> um, such a messy inventory, by the way. Um, it would be good to have a shield now. Fenris armor is definitely really good throughout the entire game and definitely in the missiles too because of the increased speed. However, because of the increased damage that mobs there can do. Um... It's still worth making the new armors when you get there for the further damage reduction. Ben, I totally agree. Fenris armors are must craft. It's so good. But I like to switch between the fast movement, low stamina uh, armors and the high armor value ones, depending on the situation. Feel like it's more likely to find the Yag location than find the Yag Vegvasir. It certainly can be. Certainly can be. Yeah, Fenris actually buffs movement speed rather than the other, like, uh, armors that just uh, don't reduce it. I'm trying to think, like, is this overkill going with all this stuff? My inventory is like half full already. But I think it's kind of worth it. Will an elder today? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. It's going to take a while. be ready for that right here's what I'm thinking chat I think feather cape is amazing for miss Hans. I think one of the things we do is all we have done Right, it's run this way along the coast. I run that way along the coast because I'm trying not to get lost because we don't have a map, right? And that's been my strategy of keeping my bearings. That way, we haven't, we never gotten to sort of the conclude uh, con any reason to turn around that way. It's just still going. We just got just past the boss area and turn back. That way, there is a black forest, and that way, there's obviously a black forest. But I'd like to explore in this direction in a pretty much straight line. So I think I'm going to Pathen. As we go. So remember which direction we went. I mean how I mean I guess we We don't have to We just do, do it like this maybe? We we don't have to create a total path, do we? You know how much harder adds. Yeah, the enemies do to do two hundred percent damage. 
Really, we just want to go in here, don't we? Have you ever considered doing a Valheim speedrun manhunt? I don't know what that means. It's hard for me to answer that one. Okay, Grey Dwarf. Signposts are definitely useful. We can't make them yet. Problem with this is that I don't know how much this is really going to stand out in the Black Forest. People hunt you down whilst you beat the game. Uh, yeah, we have discussed doing something like that. The only problem with that is we'd have to figure out what speedrun category to do it with because there is no way anyone is going to stick me with me for a full game speedrun right now. Because since Mistlands, you know, it, it, we're looking at like 10 hours minimum probably if we're just doing beating like some random scene. So we'd have to either figure out that seed or like just a certain boss that we're speedrunning killing. feel like this really doesn't stand out that much in, in the Black Forest. Oh, cheeky. That leather armor damage reduction is making a difference, though. Yeah, the parry was not worth it. <laughs> Level 3 Spear is doing pretty good though. Ooh. Spicy. Could also make it episodes through. Yeah, I can see that scene, Thorn. Yeah, I would like to try that game. And the hardcore is actually what interests me the most about it. I think we're just going to get lost, honestly. Chat. <laughs> we're playing the official hardcore mode, Exclamation Hardcore. But what that actually does. It is not. The official hardcore mode is not permadeath. It's actually a lot more difficult than just permadeath. And we're basically just getting to where we explored before. Compass you land on at spawn points north. It's not a compass. But so I don't know how it points north, but there is some way to recognize north, it'd be good. Our first skeleton. Ow. Bones. Have you played Don't Starve? I haven't, no. The branch in the sky, yeah, I'm aware, just go east to west. Oh god.
I didn't drop him. No! No! I'm, my building's being blocked. Thanks, Jacob. I appreciate that. Yeah, this game is so good. Oh, it's becoming nighttime as well. Should probably sleep soon. Um. Fortnite straps chat. Oh god! Doesn't really matter, it's just one. <laughs> Let's literally get it. Just jump in his bed right now. I don't want to be stuck in the black forest with low level gear at night in hardcore mode. Sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. The bed is exposed. Classic Valheim. We make ourselves a coffin and, and it's exposed. It's because of the. It's actually not exposed, but it's because of the terrain. The game basically thinks it's exposed. Oh, the builder gaming true. Got the insane edits too. What's the next thing? Face. <laughs> Why not? Um, okay, I want to explore this burial chamber. Wait, where the hell is it? I hear it. they've actually messed with the whole idea of uh, crows being on every structure that make noise yeah that this sees no crows making noise here all right let's go chat a uh, couple more bones and we can actually upgrade our club. At this point, it's just kind of like a speed run being in the burial chambers. Except these guys fucking taking so many more hits. Jesus. I, mean, I know it's a level one club, but there's still major nerf. That's really feeling that 30%. <laughs> okay. The interesting. Interesting room. Get rid of this ghost, it's really nice, Jacob. Hope you've enjoyed it so far. Yeah, fire arrows that are so good. 
gonna build a stag breaker? That's actually a good question. I not really thought about it. I think I will, yeah, actually. Just the AoE being useful. And the fact that it's gonna be a long time until we get another hammer alternative like that. I think it, it's gonna be worth it. We still might be better off just using our leveled up weapons, honestly. Even though they're weak to blunt. Yeah, it's totally worth it. Or well, level 3. Spear is still better to raw damage than a level 1 club. Treasure is good as well, obviously. This is actually, uh, Abyssal Raze is so good, it'd be awesome to actually find a Leviathan. Actually, I would like to go Leviathan hunting super early for that, that reason, because the Abyssal Raze it is so powerful for how early you can get it. Like, we can just get it now. I know once you get that thing to level 2 especially, level 2 upwards. The fact that we can get with a level 3 workbench, which we can do without any ores. And all we need is the pickaxe. It's just so powerful, considering we can just go and get it right now. But yeah, thanks for reminding me. I think that is something we might do. Foggy, Zindon, thank you so much for the $20 super chat. You are super legend. Oh! Thanks for supporting the content and helping keep the dream alive, bro. I really appreciate that. That really helps, thank you. Hell yeah. What's up, Jesse? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing good, bud. Oh my god. That's not, can we? The problem with using the spear is that every time I throw it, I'm aggroing everybody. Don't starve style is different but the core gameplay is very similar to Valheim. Maybe check it out after smashing Zelda. No pressure. <laughs> Supporting because I love the content. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much, Zinto. It's nice of you to say. Yeah, I might check it out. It sounds interesting. I've been recommended it a bunch. Yeah, that would have been death. That would have been death if I didn't dodge that. <laughs> Might be getting a little brazen after beating Eek there without getting hit. Nice, Jacob. That's really cool to hear. want this is the archer alone in this room that's really the question if he is oh my god no this next to a spawner Fuck. All right. can we just let the archer through So a tip for archers, if you just obscure their line of sight, they'll move always. So you can get them to move to certain spots by manipulating that. Yeah, I do actually want this rested buff, so 
let's actually just chill for a sec. We should be able to get rested here now we've killed those mobs. Thanks for the follow on Twitch, ABM. By the way, after tonight's stream, I'm going to be playing Zelda on the Twitch channel. The new Zelda. And I created a new Let's Play channel. Oh, we're getting smoked out. It's okay. We'll wait until we got rested and then... Um, I created a new channel on YouTube for posting Let's Plays and I'm uploading all of my Zelda streams on that YouTube channel. So you can check out the new YouTube channel that I just created moments ago. There's nothing on it yet, but there'll be a VOD from the uh, Zelda stream last night uploading later tonight and then later tonight we'll play more Zelda and that episode will go up to you can check that channel out in the description or do exclamation let's play in the chat I will be by the way posting other let's play content there this main channel that you're watching right now on YouTube I exclusively keep it speed runs or challenge runs with the occasional guide basically I don't post casual content here so if I ever do like a casual Valheim playthrough it'll probably be on that let's play channel or a casual playthrough of any game for that matter um, we have a little bit of a problem here because this is going to be far enough out of range to allow more mobs to spawn, probably. Oh, it isn't. Okay, good. Boom. An Elder Rune. See how, in, how useful that actually is going to be for us. Alright, what don't we really need to be carrying around? Long leather's not a big deal. One meat's not a big deal. So, we did get told a trick about doing this last night. Because what happens when we select this, because we have no map, the game points to the general direction. of the boss so we have no map but obviously we're inside the it's actually pointing in a slightly more left than that in it but we can't angle this more left. I think that's as close as we're going to get. By the way, guys, if you want to support me completely for free in a way that costs you absolutely nothing, but helps me out massively, just smash the like button on the YouTube channel. And subscribe to the YouTube channel. It makes it more likely for the content to show up in the recommended feed, so it really helps me out. Thanks for the follow on Twitch. I really appreciate that, Irakai. Right, well, we can upgrade our club now, which is awesome. It's going to make it a lot easier killing skeletons. We got a bunch of stuff. Let's go back to base. Let me actually double check that I didn't accidentally move this. I have a horrible habit of just spamming things in this game. Uh, 
Oh, that is right. Thanks for the sub on YouTube, Stephen. I appreciate that. I like the button reminder because I always forget to like videos. Oh, nice. I appreciate that. All right. So... I think one of the best things we could probably do is um Put this down here because the thing is, chat. Oh, thanks, Gordon. I really appreciate that. The thing is, we need to kind of. Trace this to the coast, don't we? Because if I go back to base and then assume. going in the correct direction it's not gonna quite work is it thanks for letting me know Goron that's awesome thank you we may get ourselves in trouble doing this but I feel like it Look, I've never done no map before. I'm sort of winging it. But I, I kind of want to just run in this direction. See, look, the more I run, look, the more... This is not pointing in the direction. You know what I mean? Kind of just want to run in this direction. Yeah, we'll pop it on the way back. I'm just trying to make sure I don't lose the direction, but that is a good idea. But I want to create a sign on the coast as well. By the way, we basically know now that he's not on this island. I mean Well at least he just got a sign posting like which direction off the coast it is now it's fine I just path in my way. Um, path my way back. Should be pretty, pretty fine. I actually am gonna do a solid line because honestly so hard to keep track of dots in the black forest it's kind of easy to keep track of the just doing dots in the meadows well i didn't name the signs because they're not real signposts we don't need to name them do we? it's just like an arrow for now we can remember what this leads to we can even potentially um Get some coal and name this path. At some point. At the other end.
You know what? This path is probably... Mm, it's not really more obvious of high vegetation, is it? <laughs> it's fine. Oh, we don't have any open slots. Whatever, just keep pathing. Oh, I'm doing it again. Being surrounded all of a sudden. We're near a spawner, that's why we need to just keep moving away from this. Doesn't matter if the path is necessarily straight now, we've got an arrow in the correct direction. this to make him calm down and it went out I know where we are now. It doesn't need to be back. We only need to know the direction of the boss, right? We know we're roughly going back. So it needs to be exactly back. We just need to go home. And then this label the other end of this path. Yeah, somewhere near home. Yeah, we see meadows there, look. Just leave me alone for now, please. I'm busy. Fucking fires keep going out. Which bullshit. Why? Well, it's because they're buried, but... Stupid, though. How much wood do we have? Not a lot. Pretty annoying. Can't even see the path at night. Oh, you know what? I do see the meadows though. We can find this bit easily now. Right, we'll just go home and then we'll come back to this. Finish this off. Well, we don't necessarily need to go home, actually. We just need to get to safety so we can sleep. Well, I mean, the thing is, if you're really trying not to die, you're going to level these skills up easily anyway. So, yeah, you all got just de facto going to end up leveling your skills up if you don't die. Any tips for finding fueling totems quickly? Um, there's one particular structure type of tower 
that is a uh, hundred percent guaranteed to always have totems at one totem at least inside it and it's the ones that it's a basically a ruined fueling tower um there's like where it's like half broken down there's like half height and there's like a wall missing and stuff We're never going to tame these four at this rate. Um, yeah, other than that, you know, just... I don't know. Just Oftentimes, they spawn on the edge of the biome, whether it is on the coast or just on the edge of a biome transition. Whether it's a mountain or meadows or whatever. Right. You're welcome. Oh, we've got a chest here. I forgot. Um, Alright, first of all, let's just stash some of this stuff. Our inventory is so messy right now. Let's upgrade our club to level 3. It only takes 15 bones, so... Loving the new hammer mode. Don't think I'll ever do hardcore mode. I get that. I do think it's probably hardcore's interest for content. What are, I actually am interested in doing a stream, right? Where we figure out the fastest way to beat the game using world modifiers. Except so, like just do it so like we allow ourselves to change any world modifiers except the one that makes mobs peaceful and just like see how fast we can beat the game because one of the things that I think is interesting is how the build cost the no build cost option the way it works um yeah hardcore is interesting but so, something interesting right about the way the the no build cost option works is that it isn't actually the straight up creative mode which i thought it would be but it isn't you you actually have to unlock a recipe before you can craft it so you can it doesn't cost anything to build it but it still means that you need to have found at least one of each item in a recipe in order to craft it so when i i actually think that a speedrun category that actually allows the use of that um would actually be interested because when you think about it it's like you still have to traverse the world and loot and like smell ores like if something if one recipe requires an iron ingot it's not like scrap iron will work you have to get the recipe by smelting still so i think it's kind of interesting because it's kind of like from a speedrun perspective it could be fun to try and uh, we need more wood by the way because we have to make a lot of chests um Yeah, I think it could be interesting to try from like a speedrun perspective in terms of like it being its own category. Because it's like a normal speedrun in a lot of ways. Except 
You just have to find one of everything for stuff that you need. Um. Also, the portal settings that you can change. You know, they can make it so you can actually port ores and stuff as well so I, I i don't know i just think there's a lot about the world modifiers that interest me from a speedrun perspective and i know there's probably going to be some skepticism about it because it does literally make the game easier but the thing is like if uh as a speedrun community, the Valheim speedrun community, is a is a legit one. I want to be taken seriously. You know, I do really feel like we always need a category. That is, how do we beat the game as fast as possible? Period. And at the end of the day, there's plenty of speedruns where you manipulate difficulty settings. So. Obviously, it would have to be its own category, but and maybe we would just call it like world modifiers or something like that. But I think it could be fun to at least try that out on stream. Weird speedrun dynamic balance of finding recipe ingredients with value of the results yeah exactly i think that is actually kind of interesting actually and i think if i could actually really figure that out oh they've started having babies oh so we have got we have got tamed for successfully we must have just tamed it before i threw that because when you throw a spear right it aggroes everything in range so i was like shit well as soon as i threw it when i was close i was like we ruined it but now we've got some taming going on that's good but yeah i think it would be interesting to figure out the fastest way we could beat the game i'm just collecting wood right now by the way um using world modifiers oh we're wasting fire arrows really and then like if we if we can actually do that super quickly i think it would make a great video to do a breakdown of that love the series bud have you thought about putting your video a little lower so it doesn't cover chess when you open them yeah yeah i have thought about that can't remember why it is where it is so there is a reason. I think it makes sense to have your camera on the left in general. So I think people look at the left first. And I guess I just felt like cameras going to be pretty low to not cover a chest. Like yeah, you can you can still see most of the chest. Oh yeah, that's why, because I want to keep it on the left. Never put it totally below chests. It ends up covering my health bar. We did get a uh, a raid last night. Put it in the minimap spot. The minimap spot's kind of too small, I think. You see, usually. Um, when I do speed runs and my timer and everything 
takes up a pretty big chunk of the right along with chat. But I guess we could be on the right. I just prefer being on the left. I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't decide, which is why it's where it is. Fall. You lost your hardcore to Archers in the burial chamber? That's unfortunate. We should go loot some raspberries for, uh, for boars as well. I think we should create like a stack of chests here. Oops. Mistakes have been made. I will make a fancier base with a real storage facility that's labeled at some point. Don't feel like doing it right now. Although we're probably getting to the point where we need to start organizing a little bit. So maybe we should give it a shot. labeling things in here yeah because it's becoming a mess Awesome, Derek. I hope you enjoy it. What's up, Ashley? Thanks for talking about the stream. Hope you're doing good. Really enjoying having you back on the stream, Nick. And it's a nice change of pace to try hard mode and Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, hell yeah. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, if you're interested, by the way, in watching my Tears of the Kingdom playthrough, I am doing them live on my Twitch channel. And I'm doing them directly after these streams live on Twitch. Um, but I'm also going to be uploading the VOD of each stream to my new YouTube channel that I just created called Nick Rawcliffe Plays. Um, you can actually check that out by doing exclamation Let's Play or there's a link in the description to that channel. I literally just created it. So it's basically, it's my same logo with a pink background. I actually like it. It's cool. Um, so last night's stream is going to be up tonight and then I should be able to get the night's Zelda stream up tomorrow on that YouTube channel. So if people get into the, the Zelda playthrough late and they want to go back and catch up, uh, they will be able to on the new YouTube channel. But thank you. I really appreciate that, Ashley. I hope you're doing good, bud. It's really nice to be back. I'm actually really enjoying the streams right now. Um, I want to do a Raspberry run and I also want to conserve my fire arrows uh, I want to stock up on raspberries for the boars why the wood on the porch I just think it looks cool I'm just dashing wood stacks outside to save chest space and also I think it looks cool because we're going to do this up to look like almost like a farmhouse on the coast with a dock so it's like a nice aesthetic aesthetic 
I guess. I mean, it's not. This is just a makeshift impromptu fast build right now. <laughs> but we're going to make it into something nice and I'll probably decorate it with some wood stacks. So that's why. Hide it for navigation without the map. You can use the world tree in the sky. I think the green stone is north. Uh, the queen stone is uh, never always one direction or another, if that's what you mean. But yes, and where we can use this, it should be a really good navigation tool in the long run. What's up, Anatinus? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good. Alright, let's just focus on collecting berries. Make sure we uh, have enough food to keep breeding. Four. Because having lots of meat means lots of health. <laughs> Which helps with taking lots of damage. Which is essential for not dying. You still get lost, but it's good to what direction you're going. True. Very true. I mean, that's that's enough berries for ages for the boar, really. Honestly. Spear is just so good. I think I'm going to use Spears a lot in this hardcore playthrough. Just because of the way it allows her to sort of dodge whilst doing stuff. Do we find another boar stone? We there has to be a boar stone nearby for this many boar. Where is it though? And it's just a random roaming pack of boar, I guess. How goes the hardcore grind? It's going great, thanks. How, how's it going, Erica? Thanks for talking about the stream. I hope you're doing good, bud. I'm enjoying this, uh, this new mode. What's up, Angela? Thanks for talking about the stream. I hope you're doing good. I'm doing great, thanks. Yeah, it is a cool addition. Hope you're doing good as well, Angela. Enjoying the slower type of stream for sure. Well, that's really nice to hear. It's always, uh, you know, when you have, have something that really works as a streamer, like for me, it's speedruns and challenges, specifically world record attempts. It's always a little bit of a risk to do something different. So I'm really happy people are enjoying it. 
I do think this new hardcore mode is good for us though, because at the end of the day, it still is a challenge, but it's just a total change of pace compared to speedrunning. You're at work. <laughs> Feeling like a villain? True. Thanks, Starstream. I appreciate that. Do I also have micro stores running around? No. Seems good to me. Going on like FPS wise. I mean, not micro stores. The usual 20 FPS random FPS fluctuations of Valheim, but. Out the ordinary, I would say. Wake while lurking. I'm killing of that too. Hell yeah, I appreciate the lurk as always. We're getting quite a few. Oh, look at the little pig! Look at it! It's adorable. Are they all tame actually already? Oh yeah. We can finally get up close and personal with our our piggies. Hell yeah. We might have to start naming pigs after donators or something. <laughs> Just for the wolves. Hardcore run with no build costs would be really cool. Interesting new strats. Yeah, I mean, yeah, some... I think, yeah, some weird kind of challenge runs slash speed runs with the world modifiers. You, lots of ways it could be interesting. Yeah, we should have a while yet, I guess, before we get raids that would be an issue for the... Pause. Foggy, Cone Basher, thanks so much for the $5 Super Chat, you legend. I think that piglet kind of looks like me. <laughs> okay. So now, now I said it, we have to do this. Especially because this piglet looks exactly like him. I don't think we can name it yet though, right? Doesn't it have to grow up? Wait. How do we know which is which? <laughs> Right, let's just say it's, it was this one. I think one. that piglet kind of looks like me. <laughs> yeah, it, I agree. It looks just like you. Should we do all one word, maybe? Or fit? Cone basher. There we go. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, but I appreciate that. Naming your food is a path of madness, my friend. True. How much to be a one star? Oh my god. <laughs> we don't this is a slippery slope, I feel like. If we start giving price brackets for to start. <laughs> the hard one. Oh, 
I suppose it's first come, first served with, uh, with Stard. At, at the donator's request. It, we don't want bidding wars. As good as that may be for me, I think that is uh, a little crazy. <laughs> Bothers me that the animal names can't be longer. True. No harvested of named boars. I'm not promising that I won't slaughter you. At some point in the future. No promises I won't eat you if you get a, a, a pig named after you. Just saying. <laughs> well, no immediate plans to massacre the chats. We have a lot of food right now. Derek, thank you so much for the $2.79 super chat. I appreciate that. Thanks for supporting the content and helping keep the stream alive. I appreciate that, bud. True, ah, uh, it's true. Eagles <laughs> Yeah, I wonder what the YouTube TOS is for eating YouTube subscribers. Probably quite bad, I would assume. Alright, so... I think the next thing we should do is uh, return to um, the signage. It <laughs> wasn't my two star neck yet. Not yet. What's the noise? We need to give everybody a pet. We've got another one, look. It's all happening now. There we go. Okay. Whatever. It was somewhere around here, wasn't it? Oh, you meant breeding. I was going to say, I don't know how to interpret that message. That was kind of a weird one. Is it just Hilda's locks that have the extra lines when you pat them? Or do they add that for all animals? I actually don't know about that. An interesting question, though. Right, yeah. So, if we head in this general direction, should bring us ah, to these fires. Look, nice. We were so close to getting where we wanted to be. Honestly, having fires periodically is a good idea, thinking about it. Holy shit, by the way. Damage. My damage is pretty good now, though we're level 3. Um. Yeah, periodically having fires is not a bad idea. Oh. 
a little necessary. Why is he just going to do this? To get it out of the uh, Black Forest. And then we're going to create like a little bit of a outpost or something like a tower, I think. There's something sort of makeshift. I don't know what I'm doing here exactly and just improvising a little bit. I don't know. put like a sign above this highly unnecessary but it's Valheim <laughs> we do unnecessary things when we play Valheim casually um, I don't actually have any coal yet I was thinking we just burn something to get some. Oh, you got it. Yeah, uh, it's very steep, Aaron. Enemies do 200% damage and wear nerfed by 300% and they got enemies have 20% increased movement speed. Yeah, we should probably get started on bronze production soon as well, yeah. However, I do think that it might be the best move to prioritize finding a Leviathan right now, actually. We need to name a boar after Derek, actually, don't we? How much coal do you need for a sign? I can't remember. Not a lot, is it? I'm gonna burn this meat on purpose. There's a little bit of a shortcut. Just one, yeah. Thought it was. We go. Maybe I should have reminded myself to follow the path. Follow path. To coast. You want to do me the, the want me to do the color thing as well chat okay uh 
Hey, why is it not working? Do you have to put it at the start or something? Yeah. Okay. Kind of weird that it's formatted actually like that. Okay. I write patch instead of path. Too many video games. Yeah, oh, this way for Pots Ghost. All right, noise. Noise. I might see. Yeah, okay. Right. That's a really, really good job done. Yeah, the color signs have, have uh, always been in the game, I believe. Wait. Maybe I'm thinking about a mod originally, though. Was it always vanilla? I know people have always been doing it. But they, did they do an official patch for it? I forget if people were using mod, mods originally. They came unintentionally. Right. Yeah, because I and people have always had colored signs. But I think in the early, early days, I think it was a mod. But yeah, it's been it's been in for a long time, yeah. You should have had a funny phrase for each bio. Vex the forest. Welcome to Misty Forest. Adding walking trees. Little blue guys. The ho hardcore is actually an, a mode in the new update is actually a thing. It's not like a made up rule set like usual, if you know what I mean. What it does, you, you can get a brief explanation of by doing exclamation hardcore. I did actually make a video that is an in-depth explanation of world modifiers where I go through every preset and explain it. But I'll give you the highlights. Obviously, it's a question I can't answer every time when people ask, but it's been a while since I last explained it today, so I don't mind doing another explanation. Let me uh, name a boar after Derek real quick. Thanks again for the super chat, Derek. Um... I have a button on my keyboard that'll flick that allows me to change from my keybinds I use for Valheim to just like normal. So I keep having to stop every time I type. Oh, let's give give them these uh, berries as well. Yeah, so. The first thing that the hardcore preset does is that it makes enemies um... do 200% damage it also nerfs our damage by 30% and increases enemy movement speed by 20% it also makes it so that when you die it deletes your character inventory and your skills upon death um It also makes it so there's no map or no and no mini map. Those are the big things. But there's also other things that are going to be a big deal later in the run. Like for example, you can't portal. I need to stop and think about what I'm going to do next. You can't portal. Um 
when you're near an active boss. And you also can't leave the queen's dungeon while she's alive. So basically that means because the only other way to leave is by death, but dying means it deletes your inventory and skills. It basically means that you want to try and do the queen fight in one life, which means you have everything you're going to need. You have to take with you, bearing in mind that, you know, you can't leave to repair stuff or restock on food or arrows. So that is going to be huge for the final boss fight, which will be the end of this run. I believe you can't leave Hilda's dungeons while the mini boss is alive. Not 100% sure. I would assume that it works the same way, yeah. Can you throw yourself on the ground? Just short. Do you have to save them? Yes, I think you can. Although, I haven't tried it. They've not died yet, so. Those are the big things. Increased raid amount as well. There's more raids. Um, there's other stuff too. So it's actually really, really substantial. The hardcore mode. There's a, a lot more to it than just permadeath. And... Obviously, it isn't permadeath. Like, your world isn't deleted or anything when you die. Um, but it is a lot harder than if it was just permadeath. You know what I mean? Are you fine, bosses? Is that going to be the longest part? Yeah, it's definitely going to be the longest part. That and preparation because of the increased difficulty like you really are gonna want to really prepare for fights and that obviously takes a long time to grind all the mats for it um but yeah to find the bosses basically when you find a veg vizier the camera points in their general direction and then you can obviously like signpost that direction and can you continue to explore in that general direction um, I'll tell you one thing I do want to do. Is, uh, explore the perimeter of the whole island just to see what other biomes and stuff we are near. Because we might have every biome on the same island if we're super lucky, except for Mistlands. Um, and we might find a trader. But I think... Uh, I'm going to also take... Mats for a raft. In case we see a Leviathan off the coast. The door closed. We need to fortify our base more soon as well. Yeah, we do need to protect those, uh, those boar as well. I do think that, um, it makes sense for them to add a craftable compass or no map but well just add it to the game anyway and then i think it would be cool even if it's really hard to craft 
it would be a really cool thing to have a really useful item like that for no map. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick to the coast and run around the coast. Yeah, I mean, using screenshots, definitely. Oh, shit, chat. I forgot to record today's gameplay footage for the video that I'll make about this when I've done it. Fuck. I'm starting recording right now. But... That means I have to use footage from the stream. So at least we have that as a backup for the fear fight. Which is a little bit unfortunate because it's not as good video quality. But whatever. It is what it is. That's annoying. <laughs> but at least it's just eat clear. I mean, what did we actually do today? We did start the pig farm. We killed eat clear. We found the elder location. And we explored our first burial chamber. It sounds like a lot. But in terms of the making one video that explains the entire hardcore run that we did. We can summarize all of that in a few minutes just with clips from the stream and it'll be it'll be okay won't it a little bit annoying but it's fine i'll explain it in the video basically we're just doing these streams for this hardcore playthrough but once i've actually managed to finish it I'm going to create a, a video that sort of gives the highlights and some of the descriptions of my approach to, I guess, the challenging parts of it and uh, give my opinion on the mode. So, yeah, there's definitely an island there, obviously. Over here somewhere, there was a big mountain. I don't think there's any point in uh, collecting like a load of um, flint at this point. If we decide we need some, we can get some later, but we kind of get into the point where we're leaving flint behind anyway pretty soon. We're the largest starter island you've ever seen. True. This mountain does look so good. We should remember when we're at our base to create a sign. Um... That points along this coastline. And just say. 
that you know basically just describe that we get to a big mountain that looks good the end of this coast what's up dana thanks for talking about the stream hope you're doing good it's going really well actually we uh be eek there with no no cheese in no speed run strats and still did it without even taking a hit so i'm pretty happy about that well, we've not died yet so i'd say that's a win we've, we've got a sign marking the general direction of uh of the elder because we found the elder vegetables here in our first burial chamber so going very good we've got a pig farm it's going super well considering that i think we played for like three hours yesterday and we're playing for like two hours so far today I'd say that's really good progress yeah like i think modders on that mountain chat it looks like a modern mountain it just does. We're going to flatten any of these that we see just so we don't get excited. I think we've uh, found new loot when we've looted it already. I love the new music that they've added. So good. You know, some sometimes I get concerned, right, knowing that people from Iron Gate watch the content from time to time. Sometimes a lot right sometimes i get concerned that they may get frustrated with me when i openly criticize the game on stream because i i do when they're when there's things that i don't like or you know things i think are sort of a mistake i just say that but I, like, generally, when I'm streaming, I spend all day talking about how good the game is. <laughs> I've been doing that. Constantly for, like, two years now. I hope they, uh... Understand that. The game's still so good. What, one of the things I'm actually really happy about. Oh, I've seen this will formation a bunch. This little area. Um, one of the things I'm super happy about doing this series. Is that. Like. I have hardly played this game casual. Like I started speedrunning it before there were speedruns basically let's get rested before we go in and then i like was just doing challenge runs and stuff so even though i have played casually and i've done more relaxed relaxed stuff on stream and for videos and also just off stream and stuff i ha i have played it it still kind of feels to me like right now i'm playing the game like normally um for the first time in like two years pretty much so i kind of feel like i'm uh, falling in love with like the vanilla game all over again even though it is hardcore. It's still hardcore. 
Yeah, this is not, it's not going to be like the easiest thing ever. It's still going to be fine compared to the kinds of things we normally do. You know what I mean? It's still going to be very chill compared to grinding for world record and stuff. I'm really enjoying it. Grayling definitely wanted to take a map. Nah. I'm sure they understand part of being a developer is handling criticism. You would think. <laughs> I definitely know, though. There's like shockingly successful video games that have developers that still to this day get really nasty about any creators that criticize them in any way. There's still like so many developers that, that can't, can't take that, unfortunately. Like, specifically, uh, I saw this thing going on recently with PUBG. Apparently, like, there's a bunch of Korean PUBG content creators boycotting the game. There's, like, a whole Korean PUBG freaking drama going on. And, uh... For lots of reasons. But there's some sort of like leak email or message exchange. Oh, this is where we were before. It's interesting. Um, and anyway, in this leaked exchange, it's like with with uh, Crafton employees. They're basically just talking shit. This is potentially dangerous. I think we just get the hell out of here, really. What's up, Kyle Pipes? Thanks for talking about the stream. I hope you're doing good. Um, is this a normal playthrough or is it a speedrun? It's we're, do, we're we're doing a playthrough of the new hardcore mode, so it's it is kind of a normal playthrough. Welcome back, 13k subs and on the way to 20. Holy shit, Dana! You always give me a heart attack with these donations, bro. Jesus! Thank you so much for the hundred dollar donation. You flipping nutter. That is so generous. Thank you for your everlasting support of the community. You're a legend, bro. Thanks so much, buddy. I hope you're doing good. I'm really looking forward to the build competition on the server. If you guys don't know, Dana and the guys that play on the Patreon server have organized a build competition to patrons. But it's actually a really funny idea where... It's a tiny build competition. You have to basically max out your comfort and your forge and your black forge and stuff. Using as few floor tiles as possible. And it's ongoing right now on the Patreon server. On the build server. And then on the 19th, which will be the next server stream where I play on the server on stream. We're going to be checking out everybody's uh, builds in the competition. It's going to be awesome. But I'm great. It's uh, it's uh, good to be back. Appreciate that. Thanks, dude. You legend. You're crazy. No, it's genuinely really good to be back. I really did need a break. I was totally burnt out. Because I really, really overdid it when Hilda's request first came out. Oh, we're back home, look. 
So it's quite a small starter island. Nice, that didn't take long. Um, but you know, I just like took my time before coming back and like, I, I uh, started trying to actually intended to come back a little sooner, but like I couldn't quite figure out content that I wanted to do that I was super passionate about. But w once I figured out what I wanted to do, I'm, I'm absolutely loving what I'm doing right now. Which reminds me. Uh, the new big crazy Valheim challenge that uh, I'm sure lots of people have been waiting for to come to the YouTube channel because it has been a long time since my last one. Because they are very long, hard to make projects. Uh, you're going to see the, the you're going to find out what the next one is very soon. Um, I'm, uh, I need to do some final testing tomorrow. And, uh, if tomorrow goes well, we will be starting the streams for the gameplay portion and the recording sessions for the next challenge. So I'll be live streaming my next crazy challenge, recording all the gameplay on stream. And, uh, once we do the challenge... It'll be edited down uh, into a new challenge video. Um, and I am really excited about it. It's never been done before. Um, it may never get done by anyone again either, but I will be sharing how to do it to encourage people to try it. Um, and yeah, it's crazy. It's one of the most requested uh, challenges that I get. And uh, spill the beans. I'm not telling you. Gonna be a surprise. <laughs> Gonna be a surprise. Where the stream is just going to happen. And I'll announce it. There and then. In the title. And on the stream. But you got to find out very soon. You got to find out very soon. Within less than a week, for sure. As long as no major technical issues with it. Because here's a massive hint about the, what the challenge is. And I'm not going to confirm whether anyone successfully guesses it in the chat, all right? Because I know there's some dedicated uh, viewers that will probably be able to guess from this. So this is a guess for them. It does require some mods to even get it to work. Much like another video I made. And I'm not I'm not gonna say any more. I've already said too much. Um So that's what needs to be tested tomorrow night. Um, the mod is made. Uh, I just need to test out the mod with some of the straps. There's definitely some people that will know what it is. It's the most requested. One of the most requested things. Related to a previous challenge video. I'm, I'm not saying any more than that. <laughs> but you'll find out soon, chat. It's going to be epic. Wait, no. I actually wanted to take this because... Honestly, HP is pretty tough with this food. Scenario. We need we need a cauldron. ASAP. We should... Actually... Get started on making coal and stuff. And then we'll uh, make that sign we're talking about.
Um, yeah, we should think about like. Could start thinking about this base layout a little bit more deeply. We create like a sort of smelting multi yard. It's like really just not flat, is it? This area though. I don't know. I don't know how we should go about this actually. I don't know, for now. We just freaking ditch this here. <laughs> That's how we're gonna go about it. I think we'll we'll like decide that we're having like a build day at some point during this playthrough. But I don't feel like doing that today. So, I guess for now we can just like put this sign here. Um, Follow this coast to mountain. And with an arrow like that, that's good. Craft a compass, true. Yep, that's good anyway. Speak friend and enter. Rue. Alright. Um. We. We are going to have to build a storage place and organize it at some point. Don't have actually a ton of. I do really, really like the idea of uh, just going Leviathan hunting. We didn't really see any off the coast, did we? We, we weren't really looking. Um, super hard. No map speed run when. <laughs> question I don't even yeah I mean I definitely wouldn't do all bosses random sea glitches like how it is now without a map because it's too long anyway as it currently is to run <laughs> maybe I would consider doing it segmented kind of like for the lols but not like serious or maybe we could do like a different speed on category without a map 
it's doing one of the bosses or something. My only problem with the idea of us going Leviathan hunting, right? Is... Um... What if we get lost? Oh wait, what did I place? Oh. I'm trying to, uh, really slim down my inventory. Yeah, a servant could be an issue for sure. And is the serpent too much of a risk? I'm trying to cut down on my carry weight. So I can carry as much chitin as possible. Forest is moving, we're being raided. Oh no. You fucking assholes. Well, it happened. So annoying, bro. Alright, let's get those fire arrows. <laughs> I guess we now know what we need to do next. Just defend the pigs. Where the fuck are these fire arrows? It's time to make uh, base defenses. They're, the game has uh, answered the question of what do we do next for us. <laughs> By the way, just having like a rock like this to like stand on that they can't destroy. To just handle like raids like this is absolutely huge. Like it's a good way. Let's say you like build a trench all the way around your base to defend it, right? And you get raided. Having somewhere outside of the perimeter like this that you can like kite them all to. It's a really good way to like harvest them. Even if you just like raise the ground a bunch.
French is all great. What are you on about? I mean, raising the ground works too, but that actually is just costs more mats. What trench is absolutely all great. Racing the ground is definitely a little better though. But obviously, I caught some stone and stuff. Oh my god, they actually killed every last one. Ugh. That's annoying. Well, at least we got a lot of meat. Yeah, both is definitely all like, the best. Yeah, I think. French and a, and a wall. Oh my god, chat. Not like this. Well. I guess. Yeah, I mean, the increased raids is definitely noticeable now. This is actually our second raid. Already. He didn't name him, did he? We did. <laughs> we named them after donators, and now they're all dead. Just as Dana did a crazy donation as well. <laughs> We'll have to name one after Dana. <laughs> Bro. Gonna get gets that two star. <laughs> True. Yeah, I know, David. All right, I think I'm going to wrap up uh, today's episode here. Because we made super good progress. And I actually started like mega late. Um, and I'm pretty tired. But I am going to play a little bit um, of uh, Zelda over on the Twitch stream before I go to bed. So, if you want to continue watching me tonight and continue uh, hanging out, 
then uh, head over to the Twitch channel. There's a link in the pinned message at the top of chat. And there's also a link in the description. Uh, I'll be continuing my Zelda Tears of the Kingdom playthrough. We're only like two hours into the game. We just started it last night. Uh, and I want to play a little bit of Zelda before bed. So we're going to do that over on Twitch. So uh, exclamation Twitch in the chat for the link as well. So I hope you guys will join me on Twitch. I'm just thinking, no. I could do to eat something. I see Rainer in the Twitch chat already. Hell yeah. Head over to Twitch, everybody. I think I actually might just eat on stream. All right. I'm going to switch over to Twitch right now. So if everyone wants to keep watching the stream and they want to see me play the new Zelda game, head over the, to the Twitch channel right now. If you start spamming in the Twitch chat, you'll actually be able to see it on the screen. I can say hello. I can still see, I can actually see the Twitch chat right now as well. So uh, make sure if you want to keep watching to head over to Twitch. Uh, I'm going to be just playing Zelda for a couple of hours before I go to bed, basically. We're still on the, like, starter area, but just found some really cool stuff. What's up, Salty, in the Twitch chat? What? Nice. Nice. Everybody, make sure as well that you smash the like button as well on the, the YouTube stream uh, and subscribe to the YouTube channel to support me for free. The best way you can support the content is on Patreon at patreon.com slash nickrawcliff as well, by the way. Uh, in return, you get access to a private Valheim server that you can play. There's actually two private servers that you can play whenever you want with the rest of the community. And you also get invited to play Valheim with me live on stream. We do server streams. There's a link in the description of the Patreon or exclamation Patreon in the chat for the link. The next server stream is on the 19th. It's going to be super fun. Uh, you can also support with donations and YouTube memberships and uh, Super Chats as well. Uh, make sure you join the Discord. It's the one best way to make sure you don't miss any live streams or videos as well. Exclamation Discord, link in the description. And yeah, smash like and subscribe. It helps for free. But anyway, I'll see you guys on Twitch. If you want to watch me play Zelda and continue watching me play tonight, I'm going to be starting up the Twitch stream right now like as soon as humanly possible i'll be firing up the twitch stream and we'll be uh continuing with our zelda zelda playthrough all right thanks for watching guys i'll see you on twitch and then i'll uh probably see you guys tomorrow for some more valheim hardcore but I'm not 100% sure yet. Because I need to ch test out stuff for the challenge video. So it depends how that goes. But I'll keep you posted about that as well. Uh, well, literally, the world modifier is literally the hardcore preset. That's what we're playing right now. All right, guys. I'll see you on Twitch for some, for some Zelda. All right. Have a good one. Bye, thanks for watching.